Welcome to Retro Gear Time. Last week we talked about the Betacam SP tape. This week we have a different tape format. Tell me about it. This is Sony's U-Matic three quarter inch tape. And look what a robust piece of media this is. A very large piece of media. It is, and you, this is a 60 minute tape. You can get 60 minutes of 640 by 480 standard definition video. And back in the 60s, the late 60s, early 70s, when Sony introduced this, this was really a revolutionary tape format for TV, broadcast, corporate video production, the whole thing. Let's see wow. if this even works. It's been sitting in my basement for about the, uh, 10 years. In terms of quality, how does this compare to like a Betacam tape? This preceded Betacam SP, and Betacam SP came out, it was smaller, it was lighter, uh, it might have uh, been a better tape quality, of course it's all still analog, yeah. but let's see if that even works. And think about it too, how nice this is to have on your tape shelf when you have your library of masters, when you want to watch a video you can just pull it off the shelf and put it in, and I don't know if this is going to work necessarily, it's probably 30 years old. Yeah. But you know, but think about it, compared to the media we have now, where you have something like this on a, a shelf with all your SD cards very, or hard drives. Very easy to lose this, so. Yeah, and then it would be labeled as to exactly what the program is, and if you wanted to make a copy of it, you could just take it off the shelf and connect it to another machine and copy it. You'd also lose a little bit of quality every Maybe time you copy it. Maybe just a little bit it, of quality so. would be lost each time. Yeah. But think about, this was the 5800 series. This is the 5850 recorder, and it doesn't appear like it's gonna work. But uh, I will tell you, the editing controller that I learned how to edit on in the in 92, 93 era at the TV station that I worked down here, take a look, it's the uh, Sony RM450 edit controller. And this, back in the day, when I was in high school learning how to edit at this little TV station in Kent, Ohio, I thought this was pretty much the coolest editing controller, the coolest edit system that had ever been created. And literally all you could do with these two tape decks you can see here, the, the top was the source deck and the bottom is the recorder, and you could just do ins and outs and cuts on this very basic system. And the funny thing is I called out to the station and asked them if I could borrow it because I thought for sure this stuff is probably in storage. They are still using that edit system today. And wow. I would challenge anyone that that is probably the only three-quarter inch edit system still in use in America today. It is probably the last <laughs> Sony RM450 and 9800 series U-Matic player. They are still using that to edit programs that air on that station. And with that, you're only doing linear editing. So you make a cut and you're stuck you're with it. You're committed to it. You cannot go back and change without completely, you know, erasing over or possibly, you can't shorten anything. It is, it's like building a brick wall. You can't take the brick out at the base, you're done. Hmm. Yeah. Glad technology has moved quite a bit since then. A little bit. Check out our YouTube channel to see some more videos, and we'll catch you on the next one.